Sometimes looks can be deceiving, Dale. This sorghum is quite a bit shorter than all the other ones around us, but it packs a lot down in this canopy. This is our uh, Dwarf 110, our uh, Dwarf Sorghum 110, we call it. It's a brown midrib. You can see how brown that midrib is in there, which is an indication that it's got the low lignin gene, makes it really palatable for livestock and animals. But just because this is short doesn't mean it's not productive and isn't going to ton out. Tell us a little bit about the brachytic dwarf gene that's bred into this particular plant and some other ones that we have and how that makes it different and more valuable in certain situations uh, than some of these others. So, so basically what I'm going to do here, let's just take a look at these two products. and. Um, you know, this is half the height of this uh, taller forage sorghum here, but let's count leaves. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and still coming. I've got eight here. Yeah, so I've got more leaves and more to come before the head pops yeah, out. And this is already headed. Let's take a look at the leaf width. Yeah, it's a little better. Leaf length, better. And let's look at the the yield on this stock diameter stock diameter is bigger and now if you're looking for a hay product stock diameter is bad but in a uh, silage product uh, this this is not a hard rind mm -hmm. uh, this this is actually uh, very soft I mean I can I can whack right through that you can't do that on a corn stalk for example mm -hmm. um, not with this little pocket knife and uh, but you can also see that the brown from the incom the lignin that's not being fully formed. So this is a very highly digestible stock. And animals will actually eat this stock very well in a free grazing situation. So this is a great silage product. Um, as long as it uh, gets some grain development before frost, uh, it is very long winded. I'd like to see it planted early in June. If this you is want 110 that. days to soft dough. 110 days. So you, you want to get it in the ground fairly early, at least in this part of the world, if you want to make good silage out of it. Otherwise, it, it's just not going to dry down very well for you. We've got uh, some other products that are, this is a forage sorghum. We've got some dwarf sorghum sedans that would be better, have the same characteristics you talked about, but for a grazing situation. Right, for a summer grazing yeah. situation. But uh, one place I really do like this is in a winter grazing situation. This is one of my very favorite products, double cropped after wheat, where it's not going to produce grain. It's going to end up looking like this at frost, just nothing but a pack of leaves. And if you look at it, these leaves wrap almost completely around this stalk. And you see here, this leaf is wrapped completely around that stalk. Now you compare that to a sorghum sedan, like here, that leaf attachment is just very narrow right there at the base. Now let me get a piper. See, it, it, that's less than halfway around. You have a very narrow leaf attachment. So when the wind picks up, these are blowing off. Right, and that's what we've seen when we try to stockpile sorghum sedans, the leaves just shred off. But on the forage sorghums, and this product in particular, the leaves hang, hang on. on. And having the short stature also helps standability in the winter. For a winter stockpile mix right now amongst all our offerings, this is my number one. But I also like to put something tall in there to break the wind and keep it off yeah. of this. So you can plant this in June or July, graze it in December and January, and it's still standing really well. Yeah.